On the evening of March 9, 1945, in Tokyo, an ominous tranquility prevailed. People were coming back from their workplaces, shops were pulling down their shutters, and children were drifting off to sleep. Unbeknownst to them, in a few short hours, they would be roused by a horrifying inferno of the deadliest air raid in human history unfolded. This is the story of Operation Meeting House. To understand the scale and impact of this event, we have to go back to the onset of World War II. The aggression began with Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, leading to brutal conflicts in the Pacific region. The stage was set for an escalating cycle of aggression. Japan was infamous for their harsh treatment of prisoners and local populations in conquered territories. Fear of an invasion in the United States stoked the flames of conflict. Both nations were pushed to the brink, convinced that the other side was an inhuman enemy that must be destroyed. The United States was making its way across the Pacific, reclaiming territory through a series of island invasions. The dense, humid jungles of the Pacific Islands became lethal battlegrounds. Disease-carrying insects and toxic plants added to the risk of enemy ambushes and sniper attacks, making survival a constant struggle. Rain-soaked and muddy terrains rendered mobility and transportation difficult, resulting in ground troops often feeling isolated and vulnerable. Moreover, the tropical climate led to severe health issues, including malaria and other tropical diseases, which took a significant toll on the soldiers' strength and morale. The brutality of these battles peaked with the invasion of Iwo Jima in February 1945. The fight for this tiny island, a mere nine square miles, claimed over 26,000 lives. If the death toll per square mile from Iwo Jima were applied to all of Japan, the body count could reach an impossible number. It became clear, an invasion of the Japanese home islands could lead to over a million American casualties and many more Japanese lives lost. In the brutal calculus of global war, the United States sought a solution. The answer came in the form of Operation Meeting House. The operation had started under the sultry Pacific sun on the Mariana Islands of Tinian and Saipan. U.S. Air Force crews were briefed on a novel tactic. Their superfortress bombers would be stripped of all armament, save for the tail turret. This daring strategy allowed each aircraft to bear over seven tons of death and destruction. B-29 bombers took off from Saipan and Tinia. They began departing its bases at 5.35 p.m. local time on the 9th of March. It took two and three-quarter hours for all of the 325 B-29S which were dispatched to take off. The target was Shitamachi, a densely populated suburb of Tokyo, home to nearly 750,000 people and a myriad of makeshift war industries. The area was a bustling enclave of wooden framed buildings. The decision to ignite this tinderbox, an unprecedented experiment in firebombing, had been taken just hours earlier. They reached their target at 12.15 a.m. on March 10th. They descended on Tokyo, dropping E-46 incendiary bombs that created a firestorm. The flames reached over 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit, consuming everything in their path and turning Tokyo into a funeral pyre. A French journalist reported on the scene, bright flashes illuminate the sky's shadows, Christmas trees blossoming with flame in the depths of the night, then hurtling downward in zigzagging bouquets of flame, whistling as they fall. Barely 15 minutes after the beginning of the attack, the fire whipped up by the wind starts to rake through the depths of the wooden city. The resultant firestorm was an apocalyptic spectacle, a monstrous bonfire stoked by 30-knot winds. A sea of terrified civilians found themselves trapped in the fiery maelstrom, their desperate attempts to escape largely in vain. Some American airmen also needed to use oxygen masks when the odor of burning flesh entered their aircraft. One doctor, a first-hand witness to the aftermath, hauntingly noted the surreal sight of countless bodies, clothed and naked alike, blackened like charcoal, floating in the murky waters of the Sumida River. The death toll was catastrophic. Estimates range from 88,000 to possibly 200,000 lives lost. Over a million people were left homeless, and many more would perish from burns, disease, and malnutrition in the following days and weeks. This makes the firebombing of Tokyo the deadliest air raid in human history. Operation Meeting House remains a chilling reminder of the horrifying extremes of warfare. 
This brutal event and its devastating aftermath helped shape the decision to deploy atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, forever changing the course of history.